So this video is for anybody that's got bought a KP3S and would like to add this awesome overhead filament uh, <clears throat> holder. So uh, I just wanted to do a little quickie here. The way you want to print this is just like this. We see the supports. Now what you got to do, because it's going to come in laying flat when you bring it in Cura, rotate it up. Also, you find this file on Thingiverse, uh, KP3 filament holder. You want to bring it up, rotate it, and then you're going to need to turn the snap rotation off because it'll still be kind of skewed like this. And you want to finish rotating it out, and then when you look at it, it'll kind of be skewed like this, and then you'll finish rotating it, and then take it. And if this raft is the build plate, you want to ram it through the raft just enough so that when you view the bottom of it, all four of these little peg, all of these little pegs here are blue. You want them to be just a, not all the way blue, but just a smidgen of it blue so that those are the very first layer each one of those um, and then you want to add supports and I do supports just from the build plate so it doesn't actually build supports in between these or all the way up to here because it seems to print that just fine uh, now my settings could have been just a little bit better on this printer but uh, it was the very first print for this printer so I'm happy with that um, now what you need to do is first remove these supports so I'm gonna do that real quick here. We're gonna take this, kind of grab in there. Now these, if you're wondering what this tool is, these are a pair of welding pliers. And I've mentioned these in some of my other videos. They're one of the best tools for removing supports. It just, it just makes it so quick. It's got a nice little chopper here so that you can uh, cut filament. You've got a little piece here that happens to fit the nozzles perfectly. You can grab heat blocks at the end there. You can then also take off supplies. And you got a real nice spring right there. And surprisingly, this also fits the, uh, what do you call it, the heat sink for like the V6 or those big round ones. That fits it perfectly. So a set of welding pliers is a 3D printer's best tool in my opinion. Oh, and let me show you. We're going to use these 3D, these pliers for one other thing they're good at. Okay. So, which is this right here, which is a hammer. So, your, your, your set of welding pliers, like I said, in my opinion, one of the best tools you can have. And this will be interesting to kind of film and get on here. But what you want to do is you want to line it up to where it's pretty dang close. Now, it's not just going to slide on. And you don't want it to just slide on, in my opinion. Otherwise, it'll then be loose. So, I'll try to hold my thing here and maybe tap it in. Okay, yeah, see, look, I'm not even going to hold it, and I'm able to tap this in there while the printer's printing. And boom. That's how you get that thing in there, because I've had some people ask, hey, how do I push this in there? you got to hammer it in just a little bit. You're not going to hurt this. You're not going to hurt the printer. It's perfectly fine. And then you need some bearings, which I've got some. Ow! Woo! Watch where you stick your fingers. I just poked one of those. That's that's probably not the best spot for this. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, reevaluate this. Anyways, getting a little excited here too. Calm down. I'm literally dealing with a porcupine. I forget which one it's in. Oh yeah, these guys. Okay. So look, uh, these were some fidget spinners from a long time ago. I'm gonna take the little. Take the little thing off here. And what you need is some, if I remember these right, these are ZZ906 bearings. Um, yeah, they're skateboard bearings. If you just type in skateboard bearings, you'll find them. And you put the skateboard bearing on the end. And if it's a little tight because your print wasn't perfect, you just kind of, you know, mash it in there, essentially. Uh, let's see here. I need to do some mashing. So, yeah, don't be afraid to hammer things. But now that's in there good. You'll get two of them. And you just put that in there. I'm not going to do the other one for the sake of the video. Uh, but, yeah, and then that's how you put that together. And you will have a really nice filament holder. Um, but that's how to print it and put it together. Thanks, guys.